the British public or what, or his subjects, we haven't seen him make amends in any way, have we? No, we must remember, of course, that there we saw um, the Archbishop cornered by an interviewer almost as skilled as yourself, Tom Bradby, <laughs> who was the man, of course, who got um, the Sussexes to reveal mm. their break, and you were involved in that, but that's another story. So um, you don't think he planned to say that? I certainly yeah. don't think he wants... Because since then, the, um, his office has issued a statement making clear that um, uh, in talking about forgiveness, he wasn't implying that Prince Andrew was guilty of anything, um, and also um, saying that um, really it's not what we're celeb- what it's not what the jubilee is about. Because um, this is a huge distraction right now. For the yes, Queen. It, it. I mean, it has been a most unfortunate episode in recent royal history, and um, it, it would be the the last thing that that you'd want brought up. Um, when we're all going to go out in the streets and and celebrate 70 years with the Queen, but also, of course, 70 years of all of us surviving in one way or another. Of course, and I think this week should be all about the Queen, but the fact is this is a public intervention from a very high-profile religious figure. To me, he seemed to be backing Prince Andrew. And I think it does raise the question, because, look, I've been reporting on Andrew for, for many, many years, and... Well, but you know as well as I do, this is not a bloke who's accepted he's going to take a behind-the-scenes role. He is absolutely determined to get back on that balcony before the death of the Queen when he knows that Prince Charles, probably supported, well, in fact, definitely supported by Prince William, are going to attempt to banish him. You know more than I do about (laughs) what's going on behind the scenes. When I heard, though, that phrase, making amends... I couldn't help thinking back to an early episode in the Queen's reign, the Profumo scandal that some of us remember, when John Profumo, the minister accused of sexual impropriety, vanished for 12 years doing good work in the East End of London at his own expense, unpaid, um, before anybody talked about making amends. Well, I'm not aware of Prince Andrew making Ten weeks of amends. And so while I think many people will feel as a man of God, the archbishop had to say that, I don't think many people will be sharing his opinion at all.